I fly a lot, uh, which means I carry weed through airports a lot. I do not give a shit. TSA also does not give a shit. I mean, don't be an asshole. Don't show up with a pound and a half or whatever. But if you got a small amount of weed that you can argue personal use, they're not going to sweat you. I got caught in Spokane, Washington before weed was legal one time because I forgot I had some shit in my pocket. Surprise. And uh, <laughs> we go through the machine and they're like, sir, what's that in your pocket? And I was like, it's a pipe and a small amount of medical marijuana. And he goes, well, that's not going to affect the safety of the plane at all. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, sir. Good day. Good day to you. Oh, wait. <laughs> Only one time did I almost become a smuggler of cannabis products. What happened was I had been in Amsterdam for seven days straight. So I was high. <laughs> Off a of Dutch hash. I was higher than giraffe titties for a week. I was... <laughs> Higher than your grandma's draws. Am I paying a bit? Higher than a chola's eyebrows. I was high <laughs> as fuck for seven days, and I wanted to bring some of that delicious Dutch hash home, so I came up with a simple yet effective plan. I'm just going to take a huge chunk of that Nepalese temple ball hash and stick it right in my butt. <laughs> because I am old school. You see, I'm a traditionalist in some ways. The newfangled ways aren't always the best ways. Sometimes the old ways are still the best ways. You stick it in your butt, you get on the plane. That's the Amsterdam hamstergram. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> when it's time to bring it back. Now, a friend of mine, she brought some weed back from Amsterdam. However, she did not smuggle it home in her butt. We're all the same page. Nature's pouch. The marsupial method. The front pocket, sir. The front pocket indeed, sir. And that's how she brought it back. And of course we smoked it. And... It was fucking delicious. Oh my God. I still remember, oh, it had kind of a tang to it. You know what I mean, right? Like it was earthy, but with a hint of copper and seawater. Do you know what I'm talking about? Just a little bit. <laughs> Only time in my life I ever honky lipped a joint. Don't front, Sacramento. You're not that big a town. Don't front. 